Put it in the hole. At the end of the day, we're about to get underway from Challenge Stadium. Tip goes to the Perth Wildcats. Alex Loughton, they'll try and draw first blood. Redditch. Peter Crawford. The high ball screen. In the corner to Sean Redditch goes down low on the smaller Brad Williamson. His jump hook is good. Wow, that's an interesting matchup to start with. Williamson on Redditch. I don't know whether that was kind of a switch, but if that's going to be the case, Redditch could have the body. Really with a wide open look from the three point line. That's Bernie. John really with a good start for the Townsville Crocs. That's a huge start for John Really, who, as I mentioned, has struggled throughout the season against the Wildcats. 26% from the field, 19% from the three point line. And when a team's had your number, very important to get off to a good start to get your head right. Ben Knight gets it to Alex Louts, and he's off the mark with a wide open look. But the Wildcats get the offensive rebound. Henson with a skip to Loughton for a three. That's short. Bounces off the rim three times. Ben Knight keeps it alive. Roselle Ellis. Come on, here we go. Cuts the split open to Brad Williams. An extra pass to the real deal is good. Two straight outside the three-point line for John Rilly. Perfect start for the Crocs. Exactly what they needed to do, establish themselves from the perimeter, force the Wildcats defense to stretch out, but down, down low on the other end, it's going to be a long night. Percentages says those options are going to work in their favor as opposed from shooting threes all night. And Perth recognized the mismatch, go right to it. Homicide gets to the rim, the master of the paint. When you see the big fellas running like that, the guards do like to reward him to encourage him to keep doing it. Skip pass to Peter Crawford for three. Loughton with a tip. It's a running start at the offensive rebound. It's a two-point game. That's good. And it's a Williams. Really for three. Oh John really catch and shoot. Did not hesitate. He's got nine. Crawford puts it on the floor. No count. He's fouled on the drive. Inbounded quickly by the first Wildcats. Unbelievable shooting by both of these teams as Peter Crawford gets the gap and gets the finish. Trap on Ellis. He gets away with it. Gets it out of his hands quick. They give John really a wide open look. He gets his first miss. He's not going to miss that one. Two shots in a row. Bingo. <laughs> That's right. When you miss that first one, and right now he's seen it like a hula hoop. Anything he throws up, he's got the belief that it's going in. This is a tough John really as Redditch takes a slip. Another slip. So there might be an issue in that keyway tonight. Big rebound by Russell Hinder. Fouled by Peter Crawford. Of course, Ricky Grace was leading the way. Amazing. Ricky Amazing Grace, they called him, and justified that name in space. And this fella's doing some amazing things this season as well. Corey Williams really picking his spots. He's got six points. He's three or four from the field. He's got the two rebounds and the two assists, but that's what he does best. Explode to the bus. A lot of hands tapping the basketball. Redditch has the ball stolen from behind, knocked away by Corey Williams. Brad Williamson for three. In rhythm, transition three. Big bucket silence of the crowd. Loutson tries to get the answer in three. That's long. <laughs> this, is, this is beautiful basketball, Steve. I mean, the Getting up and down the floor, and when the Crocs have been given the green light, their confidence is at all time high. They're hitting shots, and this is beautiful to watch. There's nothing better when before the game you're sitting in the locker room and the coach says, says if you're open, shoot it. Oh, yes, we love that. You've got to play a little bit of D. <laughs> that stops a 6-0 run by the Townsville Crocs. Well, that stops a 6-0 run by Brad Williamson. Two straight threes.
Williams to Williamson. He oh. shoots another three. Oh. That's good. That never looked like missing. Brad Williamson with three straight threes. Crawford to Loughton. He's fouled as he goes up for the two-hand dunk. And this is this gets frustrating. We see the turnover. Sean Redditch got hit from behind. And there we see Williamson just pulling up. He's got the green light. He's done it all year. He bangs a three. Then he goes whackety whack. Russell Hinder does the right thing, identifies the hot man, gets it to him, and he's not. In the open court, bounce pass to the real deal. <laughs> Back to John really to the corner. Three-point yes, buckets, yes, good. Sir. Who will you guard? Williamson, really. They got to make a decision. Both guys yes. shooting the basketball. Out. Tremendous yeah. outside the three. Point. There's some mind games going on now in the Wildcats. Don't tell me. John really tell three me. with a range <laughs> three. That's a He's bomb. He is in a group. Let's have another look at the range of that three. <laughs> Effortless three. Bingo. Goes up strong off the glass. 100 kilos. Takes the bump and gets the finish. I don't know. I don't even... Fox just really animated. Playing with a lot of emotion after every basket. They've got something to say. Cape Horn finds Redditch, extra pass. Isaiah Victor can't handle it. Crawford's got to get one up in the air. The shot's going to be good. Peter Crawford with a shot clock. Running down to zero. Bangs in an important three. Wildcats down by six. That was a prayer. Even he had a smirk on his face after that one went in. Ellis. Russell Hinder looking for a teammate. Ball gets to really step back three. And two from the other end. Bingo! Back to back threes. What a game! Wow! Unbelievable! K Porn. K Porn for three. Yes! Townsville, what a game we've got here. Let's have a look at these three, Steve. Here we've got Crawford, throws up an absolute prayer, and he's got a smirk on his face. And look at John Rilly, he goes whack and says to the crowd, just quiet down, boys. Blows a little smoke from the fingers. He's got the hot hand and loving his own work here tonight. Him to be in top gear, John Rilly for a three. Wow. Oh, man. I've seen John really fill it up, but never with the degree of difficulty Woo! that we're seeing here tonight. <laughs> He's got eight threes. Four of them had no right going in. And he is feeling it. Some of them are so tough, they don't even have any rotation on the ball. Sean Redditch with a tough shot. And Daniel Egan pulls down the defensive rebound. John really hasn't have he hasn't had seven three pointers all year long. It looks like he's playing for the West Sydney Razorbacks. He's got the whole package going on. Hit the open shot when he's in, and that man has two. How can the man be that open? Really gets open, bang! There's his tenth three pointer. The first guy in NBL history to hit ten three pointers in a playoff match. Hanson for three. Oh! Rattles out. Townsville are going to get it done. They got to get it done. Williams with the jam. That's uh, good night, Perth. Cape Horn with a long three. That's it. Townsville Crocs with an unbelievable win. Corey Homicide Williams gets the this last word. As his Townsville Crocs knock off the Perth Wildcats here at Challenge Stadium. Elimination final number one. 